it's Machina here and today I'm gonna make an Iron Throne phone charger. With the seventh season of Game of Thrones right around the corner, I really wanted to make something related to it, so I ended up with this. I'm gonna use this USB cable. I know it's purple, but it's what I had and I'll fix that up later. And this fits my Android phone. I'll also use two packs of these plastic cocktail swords and some other materials I'll get to soon. I began preparing the cocktail swords by cutting off this part of the handle. So this is the difference. Now I just gotta deal with the rest of them. At first I bought a pack of 300 swords, which turned out to be way too little, so I had to buy another pack. And I actually ended up using all the 600 swords. Alright, I'll put those aside for now. I continued to make a basic shape of the throne out of some scrap MDF I had lying around. I marked up the size of my phone first, and then drew a back piece that would be a bit wider than that. Then I marked the seat with the same width and the depth I wanted. Finally, I cut out all the pieces with a bandsaw. The back, the seat, and the sides of the throne. Here are all the pieces. I used both wood glue and tiny nails to attach the pieces together. The back piece didn't meet the sides, so it was a bit wobbly, but I fixed that by gluing some angled brackets to the inside with some strong epoxy glue. Now this is what I have and what it should look like. To create the actual shape of the throne, I'll use some thick foam that I can cut into smaller pieces that looked somewhat like the shape I wanted and then use hot glue to attach it. It looks kinda rough at this point, but I gradually built up on that with more foam. On top I'll add a layer of thin grey foam which will even out all the surfaces. I did it only at the back first, because I have to adjust the placement of the cable, which I'll show you in a second. I'm beginning the long process of gluing on swords on the back first, because this will determine the distance from the back to where the phone charger should be placed. When the back was done, I lined my phone up against it and drew a line at the front. I measured the right distance and drilled the hole through from underneath for the cable. I had to fix it up a bit with a file to get the right shape and now it goes through. Also, drilling a path at the back so the cable can lie smoothly against the table. As I had the position of the phone and the charger, I could build up with foam around it, covering that up with the thin grey foam too. Before I continued, I made sure to cover up all the other surfaces as well. In several places on the throne it looks like the swords are bent and twisted around some edges, so I used my heat gun to warm up the plastic and bent it to the shape I needed. And then I could just glue it on where it fits. I just checked how the phone fits before I started adding swords to the seat, and it fits nicely. While gluing on the swords I left a picture up that I could use as a reference while working just to make it easier for myself. Also, if you're wondering why I'm color coding the sections, it's simply because I found it easier to actually see the depth and the layers of the swords, where to fill in, and in which direction the swords were pointed. It would have looked more chaotic with all the colors in one place, well, at least to me. For the top crown of the throne, I only needed the blades of the swords. I kept the handles as I need those later. Time to glue the blades around the edge. By the way, we're giving away the headphones that I made recently, so if you want to participate, make sure to check the link below. I was getting really close to the end and I just had to cover the last two sections on the back side. Now I could use those extra handles along the edge at the top and along the three ridges on the back. Alright, nice, all the swords have been glued on. Looks like a very fabulous, not so iron throne. Also, the swords in the corner are all that's left of those 600, and I used them to cover any holes that I thought were too large. Before painting, I had to spend some time removing glue threads from in between the swords. When it looked nice and clean, it was ready for the next step. I used regular spray paint for indoor and outdoor projects that could be used on plastic. I coated the whole thing black first, as this will bring out the right shades I need for the iron effect. It needed a couple of coats from different angles to get into all the nooks and crannies. It already looks a lot better in black. For the next layer, I'm gonna use this acrylic silver paint to make the throne look like it was made out of iron. 
I tried the technique called dry brushing, which basically means that you're painting with close to no paint on the brush and just lightly highlighting the correct parts of your object. There's a lot of nice and detailed tutorials on dry brushing on YouTube already, so check that out if you're interested. I just slowly built up the iron color with several layers to not make it too bright in the wrong places. I still wanted to keep a lot of the black as it creates the right shading effect. Just for comparison, here the right side is painted with the first layer of silver paint, while the left is just the black base. I probably could have left it with just the silver coat, but I decided to use some bronze acrylic paint to create some extra depth. I was very careful not to use too much of this. I added a few spots here and there, because too much would ruin the whole iron look. Finally, I could attach the cable. To get it into the right position, I connected it to my phone and pushed it in place. I chose to use hot glue because, despite that it might not be the strongest or most durable glue, it wouldn't pour down the sides of the charger and glue that to the phone. I let it dry, plugged it in, and it works! But I still wasn't a fan of that purple cable, so I decided to use the leftover spray to make it black. When that's dry, it's actually done! It was a time-consuming project, but I definitely think it was worth it, and it looks really badass on my desktop. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that I can see you in the next one.